ground in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their wit. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Tony Kroos. His passing range is second to none, Peter. He can ping it out to either wing with wonderful accuracy or play a cute through ball into the box when under a lot of pressure. His teammates will be looking to get him on the ball as often as they can because they know how much he can hurt defences. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. And that's been Lever... Hits one! Oh, poor contact, nothing on the shot. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back. It's Kroos! Now, right on the edge of the box, it could go either way here. And the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Dada. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. What a throw in. Tony Kroos. Alaba. And that's a throw in. Modric takes aim with a cross. Whipped it again. Towering header. Goal! Real Madrid! And Real Madrid are ahead. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Real Madrid break the deadlock. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. And he's there to hoof it away. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Time to deliver. Pumps it into the area. Vidal. Dartel. 
Out to the right. Dardel. Vinicius Junior. Now it's Benzema. And that's sprayed out wide. Dardel. Plays it out to the flank. Espanyol. We're in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. And it's Vidal. Vidal. Played out to the right. Now it's Vidal. In it comes. He's there to get rid. And it's played forward. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Hoists it forward, and he's onside! Plays <laughs> it over to the other flank. Intercepts the throw, that's well read. We've reached half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And we're already back underway here. Espanyol don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back. Going for goal! Could fall kindly. Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Yeah, he'll be a little vexed with himself having done well to get there first. Rudiger goes looking. Chance to break. And back to base. Modric. Forward it goes. Benzema! Oh, taken with style! Two up, and threatening to pull clear. That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Benzema really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. Real Madrid get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Deftly done. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Tony Kroos. They must set the right tone now and give themselves a foothold to get back into this. And they've been caught out here. It's Benzema! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to get it clear. Oh, 
Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Real Madrid might just have gone into conservation mode here. Their focus now is clearly to just hold on. Real Madrid, however, just have to plough on and hope for a break. Now it's Toni Kroos. Modric. to get it forward quickly. Tony Kroos, he's looked long this time, and it's got through. And it's Dardair. Vidal. Oh, sweet feet. Plays it out to the flank. Whipped in. And that has been cleared. Cruz. Vinicius Junior drives it forward. Here's the cross. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Vidal. Played out to the right. Alaba has created one goal already. Here it comes. Vinicius Junior. Aimed in towards the centre. Forward it goes. to the wing that is terrific skill goes for the cross Rudiger tries to switch the play Modric Played into space out wide. There are a few waiting for it. Beautifully done. Battles to win it back. And that's that. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side.